This is your no jumping fat burning workout. What's up everybody, my name's Rebecca Louise and welcome to your 10 minute get sweaty, fired up workout. We're gonna have so much fun today. I have brought you to the incredible Utah. If you are from Utah, make sure that you drop in the comments, I live here, or if you've ever been, or if there's something that you absolutely love about this incredible state, then let us know. All right guys, are you ready? Let's get started. All right, everybody, we're gonna get started straight away with today's workout. We're gonna reach all the way up to the sky. We're gonna tap down and then we're gonna keep on squeezing those glutes every time that you get standing up. Now, this is a no jumping workout, but if you wanna add in jumps, guess what that you can. All right, here we go. 30 seconds on the clock, three, two, one, let's go. Down you go and then just squeeze those glutes as you get to the top, push those knees out to the side and then give yourself a big smile. You are here, we're gonna get into the workout straight away today. We're gonna do a fun little circuit. So we got 30 seconds of exercise, 15 second rest, and we're gonna go through our exercises twice. So really think about what is it that you wanna to achieve today? Do you just wanna keep on pushing forward? You're gonna find that extra gear, that extra grit, and when you feel like quitting, we're just gonna keep on going. All right, squeeze and release. All right, next exercise, new little one fun for you today because we are in the middle of our sweat it cardio and crunches exercise challenge. So you're gonna take it all the way down to the side, you're gonna lift up and then over to each side. So lift those arms up nice and high, and then just take it over into a lunge, either side. So breathe through it, inhale through your nose, and exhale everything out. 30 seconds, my friend, you have got this. All right, so we are gonna get focused for today's workout. We're gonna decide that even when it gets a little bit of a struggle, we wanna push forward just a little bit more, what's gonna happen is we're gonna keep on going through for this. 10 more seconds, right here, lift those arms up to the sky. Come on, you've got this. Breathe through it for five, four, three, two, and last one. Take it down and squeeze. Next exercise, we're gonna bring that knee in towards our chest. We're gonna take it into a repeater on that right side. So take a nice inhale together and exhale. Three, two, one, let's go. Bring that knee in towards your chest and really go for it with those arms as well. No jumping throughout this whole workout today, but if you wanna add in a jump, guess what? Just challenge yourself. Make it a little bit more exciting. Add that jump in if you want to. All right, here we go. Now sink down just a little bit lower. Really get those elbows. Run it nice and hard. Breathe through it. Inhale through your nose. Exhale everything out. You've got this. Less than 10 seconds on this right side. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, come to the center. 15 second rest right now. Take a nice inhale through your nose. Ah, exhale everything out. We're going to take it over to the other side. So really get those arms nice and tight. Three, two, one. Here we go. Come on, just 30 seconds. You can do this. Then we're going to take it from the top with those reach ups, those lunge taps into those repeaters. So bring that knee in towards your chest. Bring that knee forward instead of across the body. Here we go. All right. What is going on right now in your life that you could just put it out to the side and focus on getting through this workout today? And when it gets tough, just saying, I'm not gonna quit. My body can do this. I'm strong enough. I've got the mindset to keep on going and gently release. Okay, we're gonna take it through from the top. Take a nice inhale together. Exhale everything out. You go back into those reach ups. Get yourself fired up. Second round. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up to the sky. Now push those knees out to the side as you stand up. Push into those heels and then squeeze the glute all the way down. Inhale, exhale. You've got this. So sometimes our body gets tired. But that's where that mindset needs to kick in to say, hey, I'm capable of doing a little bit more. I'm capable of doing another round. Every single time we show up, we wanna say, hey, how can we just push through to the end? How do we find that extra gear? How do you find that grit? You just gotta tell yourself, I can, and decide it with every single rep. Last one, and squeeze, okay. Shake it out, shake it out. You got 15 seconds. We're gonna take into those lunge, tap all the way down. Come to the center of your mat. Take a nice big breath. Take a sip of water if you need it. Three, two, one, let's go. Lift up, tap down to the ground, push it into that hill, and then all the way over. Get a nice big circle with your arms. That's it, tap down to the ground. Push it into that hill. Lift all the way over, here we go. Come on, 20 seconds everybody. Keep those arms nice and straight and engage. Tight is right, you've got this. 15 seconds to go. Right here, then we're gonna take it into those repeaters. Then you've got two more exercises and we are done with our first 10 minutes. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one.
one. Okay, release. We're gonna take it into those repeaters. With these repeaters here, we're not gonna take it across the body. I'm gonna bring it in towards you. So you're gonna lift that knee straight up in front and then crunch that core. Because remember, we're also working our core with every single exercise that we're doing right now. Let's go for it. Bring that knee in and then elbows. Keep them nice and close to your body. Keep this momentum right here. You're doing so good. Remember the first time, it's just a practice round. We keep doing the same exercise. We're just getting stronger. We're finding that extra grit, that extra gear to keep on pushing us forward. You've got this, 10 seconds right here. Breathe through it. Whew, come on, that's it. Get focused for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Take a sip of water. We're gonna take it over to the other side. Remember, left leg comes in towards the front. We're not gonna take it across the body. Shake it out, take a nice big breath in together. Inhale through the nose, exhale everything out. In three, two, one, here we go. Bring that knee in towards you. Really crunch it in. Keep those elbows nice and tight. You're doing so good. Come on, keep it up. If you're still moving your body, amazing. If you're not moving your body right now, let's pick this up. Your brain is gonna tell your body you can. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. You've got this, just 10 seconds to go. Squeeze those elbows in towards your waist. Come on, run it out. Pull that core in nice and tight, using those abs for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, take a nice big breath in. We're gonna take it out to the side. You're gonna clap those hands over the top of your head and bring that foot together. So let's come over to the left side of your mat. You're gonna take it all the way down, bring those arms up, give yourself a clap because you're awesome, and then bring it back together. Three, two, one, let's go. Push that booty out to the side and then tap it all the way back. Here we go, clap it up. Come on, you know that we're in the middle of our fun 80s challenge right now. We do different challenges every single month, different themes, so we got some few 80s moves for you today. All right, here we go. 10 seconds left on this side. Push that booty out and then squeeze together. It's just 30 seconds of exercise. Then you get a 15 second rest. So keep resetting yourself. One more and release. Okay, walk over to the other side of your mat. Take a quick sip of water. I'm gonna do the same thing on that left side. So pushing that booty out, clap over the top of your head, pull that core in nice and tight to bring that leg back in. Three, two, one, let's go. All the way over and then tap. So you're using your core here as you push down to that ground, thinking about that belly button being pulled into the spine, push down and squeeze. Remember, we want that core nice and strong. Clap those hands, you're giving yourself a yes move. Every single time you do this exercise, you're like, yes, I've got it. I'm telling you, you've got this too, because you've got 10 seconds left to go on this side, pull that core in nice and tight, give yourself a clap, you've got this. If you want to say yes at the same time, yes, you've got this. So one more and release. Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground. You can do some fun little plank taps right here, really working on that core. So pushing those hands into the ground, and you lift up and you're just gonna tap those feet out to the side. Edge of your mat, lean forward and tap it out. Here we go, now push down on those fingers. Really spread those hands nice and wide, straight underneath your shoulders, pull that core in nice and tight and breathe. Inhale through your nose, exhale everything out. You've got this, you are halfway already. We're just gonna do those exercises one more time and your first 10 minutes is completed. Here we go, count down with me for the final. Five, four, three, two, one, and gently come all the way back up to standing. Give yourself a little clap, take a sip of water. We're gonna walk over to our left side of the mat. We're gonna take it into those claps overhead. All right, shake it out. You got five seconds right here, take a nice big breath. You've got this, reset your body in three, two, one, let's go. Out, clap, and then pull that core. So as you're going down, clapping it, really think about if you can lift up that leg without that leg just slamming into the other side. Here we go, up. Pull that core and tap. Get that balance and push that booty out to the side. You've got this, working those inner thighs, working the glute muscles, getting those arms engaged at the same time. That core is on fire. 10 more seconds right here, all the way down. Push into the mat and smile. Come on, you gotta smile. Even if you feel like this workout's hard, if you make a little smile, it's gonna feel a lot easier. All right, nice work. Take it over to the other side. Give me a nice big breath in. Close your eyes if you need to. Exhale everything out and reset yourself, taking over the other side. In five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Clap it out and then back together. Nice, smooth and controlled. Doesn't have to be too fast, but what I want you to work on is that core. 
So push down on the ground, lift up, and then tap it out nice and slow. Here we go, so good everybody. We are halfway there. We're gonna take it down into those plank taps in just a second for that final 30 seconds of our planks. All right, here we go. Pushing that booty out to the side, lifting up. You've got five, four, three, two. Give me one more for extra credit. Down, push, and squeeze. All right, come down to the ground. Take a nice big breath. Inhale through your nose. Oh, exhale everything out. Put your hands down into the mat. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Coming up onto that plank, pull that core in nice and tight. Lean slightly further forward and tap it out to the side. Here you go, you've got this. It's 30 seconds right here. Tell your body you can do it. Tell your body to keep on moving. Remember, modified version, you can drop down to your knees and just take it a tap to the back, but just try. Come up for five taps and then do another five. You're halfway there right here. Come on, pull that core in nice and tight. Squeeze through it. You've got this for the final 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Woo, give yourselves a pat on the back. You guys did absolutely unbelievable. If you're like, hey, let's just get into the flow in that workout. I want to see the rest of the workout that Rebecca shot in Utah. Then check out the BTES app with Rebecca Louise. All the details are below. You're going to get a workout every single day, 28 minutes with a warm up and cool down. And you're going to feel absolutely incredible. All right, guys, great job today. I'll see you on our next workout. Bye, guys.